Hey there everybody, welcome to another video. And today I have something very cool. I found this pretty good article online about what the five top models actually eat for breakfast. It's on uh, couverture.com. And there is one thing just wrong with it though. We've got Elmer McPherson, Nina, Andrea, all these models. And I don't know who they are and there's no picture of them. So I thought, I know, I'll put this article into a video and I will go one better than this article. I won't just tell you what they're eating for breakfast and share it with you guys. I'll put a picture of them next to uh, the, uh, the description of what they're eating and also I'll put their Instagram account uh, link at the bottom in the description as well. So if you actually really like these girls and you want to follow them, uh, you can find them on Instagram as well. Okay, so let's get into it. I uh, like the start, it says, not to state the obvious, but models are probably the most disciplined in terms of working out and eating healthy. Because uh, basically early on in their career, they have to find out what works for them. They can't get bloated, uh, they, they can't get puffy, or the skin can react to obviously bad foods. So these girls know what works for them, and they found it out pretty early. So who's first? We have Elle McPherson. Yes, I'm sure we all know her. She's uh, nicknamed The Body and she's 53 years old and looks killer gorgeous man and as i said these girls are pretty tall they might be skinny but they're um they're not small they're pretty tall so they don't eat a lot but what you'll see is that they eat very good food so what does she like to eat i drink a nourishing protein smoothie made of almond milk half banana one scoop of nourishing protein uh, or fruit papaya peach pineapple kiwi Sometimes I have chia seed pudding or oatmeal or an egg, uh, just an egg, or spelto. So notice there that there is more protein and fat uh, rich foods than there is carbohydrates. And it's not really a lot of breakfast cereal or, um, or toast. Spelt toast is nothing like the, the bread that you buy in the supermarket. It's pretty chewy actually but very healthy, okay, because it's fiber, and it'll take out a lot of toxins for you. So, who is next? We have Nina. Let's find Nina. And here is Nina. She actually is quite famous because she was spotted with Leonardo DiCaprio fairly recently. 1.76 meters, so yeah, pretty tall again. Uh, super young, 25 years old, so she might have something different to say about breakfast. I always start to try and start my day by drinking an entire bottle of water while taking my vitamin supplements. In the morning I get a large Americano and in the afternoon I get an iced soy macchiato. Yeah, she's very different. She's just living on her adrenal glands. If I'm up early and have to work, I'll have some scrambled eggs for protein and energy. If I'm not working, I stick to coffee and a small Greek yogurt. And she starts the day off with a entire bottle of water, which is brilliant because you do dehydrate uh, as you sweat and you sleep overnight. Uh, a lot of coffee in that though, so I think she's, uh, yeah, she is very young, 25. She's still immortal when you're that age uh, as you're firing off your adrenal glands. But she's probably working long hours, doesn't really have to do a lot of activity and um, she wants to stay awake on the job. So coffee while you're that young, is still gonna work for you. Right, who's next? Andre, Andreja. There she is, Andreja Perisic. She is Australian, sounds like Austrian. Uh, during Fashion Week, I have been going a lot to Liquiteria. We need, all need to Google that. And I have a morning breakfast smoothie and a side puffer. Usually for breakfast, I eat eggs. I like to eat something substantial for breakfast. I definitely think it's the most important meal of the day. So sometimes a bagel with tuna and avocado. Okay, Liquiteria. So she's obviously yeah, into smoothies, uh, volumetrics. Uh, works for a lot of women, actually. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, I'm actually a personal trainer, which is why I'm putting this video up, as well as some of the psychology stuff with Law of Attraction. Uh, as you need, obviously, both, because psychology runs the body. Um, the brain tells your body what to do and gives you the motivation and all that stuff. But you also need to see what you eat and how it reacts with your body to, to get the best results. So I like to look at these people. And again, they're eating eggs, uh, protein, healthy protein and fats. Very important for models because the oils in your skin to keep you looking young 
are come from come from healthy fats. And um, you know, avocado has got that. Uh, tuna, if it's a good source, would have that. Maybe the bagel has got seeds on it. Uh, but can you see? It's a lot of real food. Breakfast smoothie. This liquid material obviously does really healthy smoothies. So she's uh, she knows what works for her. Who is next? Okay, here's Danielle Kofferman. She wasn't actually on Wikipedia, so I couldn't take a tip of her uh, to put on the screen, but I did find her in LinkedIn. So here she is. She's only 22. That's why she probably hasn't been on Wikipedia yet. She's a bit too young. So what does she do? If I'm working out before 8 a.m., I'll just have hot lemon and ginger tea beforehand and either smoothie or some eggs, salmon, and avocado afterwards. If I'm working out mid-morning, I'll have a smoothie beforehand and either an egg dish or a chicken, salmon, or quinoa salad bowl afterwards. She's founder at Quinola Limited, and uh, that's um, uh, like a vegetable quinoa sort of company that she's founded. And uh, that's what they do. They sort of specialize in these really healthy quinoa meals. Quinoa is a very good uh, grain because it's not mass produced and it's pretty fibrous, it's very low in sort of uh, sugary type carbohydrates and it fills you up and it does a good job. So quinoa, definitely uh, recommend that over wheat and uh, probably rice as well. If I'm working out later on in the day, I'll generally have a large late breakfast or brunch of eggs and a smoothie or a savory quinoa salad bowl. Some nuts to snack on throughout the day and then a protein rich dinner of chicken or homemade chicken burgers or fish with sweet potato and a warm green vegetable salad topped with nuts. Oh my god, he's brilliant. Uh, do you see that? Because nuts, healthy fats, and protein, pretty filling, uh, very, very low carbs, so she's just gonna stay lean. Um, eggs again, you're gonna see that. Quinoa, as I said, it's a very fibrous grain. And um, protein rich, she stole my words, protein rich dinner. So she's, uh, she's actually told you everything there that she eats. If you um, get nothing from this video, just copy her or copy her as close as you can. Maybe eat nuts with uh, a little bit of flavoring on it or something, or mix nuts with something you like if you don't really like nuts. Just try and get closer to her and you'll do great. Uh, have an egg with uh, oatmeal if you have no time in the morning. But um, throw that egg in there, or you know, um, I've, I've seen uh, one of my old friends. She made some kind of oatmeal quinoa uh, tuna breakfast bowl, and posted it on Facebook. And a few people said some things. I liked it, and she said, uh, "You better like it, Paul, because you're more like me than anybody." Who's next? We have Daria Rabowi. Okay, here she is. I love really long mornings. I get up really early and stare outside the window and have a coffee. Breakfast is a really weird one for me. I find breakfast one of the hardest meals of the day. I never know what to have. I think because of the Ashtang yoga thing, I practice, and then by the time I'm finished practicing or meditating, this is going to sound a bit insane, it's almost been two and a half hours by the time I do the whole thing. So it's almost lunchtime. Okay. Uh, 1.8 meters, uh, when your body works out, you release energy into your body uh, so that you can keep going. So, working out is actually a good breakfast because hopefully what you've got stored inside your body is very healthy. So if you think that some of these girls don't eat a lot, uh, then look at the fact that they do train quite a bit or work out. And they don't do crazy stuff, you know, some of them are just doing yoga. You do a lot of inverted stuff where your head is much lower than your body and that actually improves blood flow to the face and uh, keeps your skin around the face area and scalp looking very, very young and healthy. So. so I think that's about it for me. Um, I thought that was a really good article, so I hope you got something out of that. As I said, if you like any of these girls or you want to find out more about them, uh, have a look at this article online. or. Um, Check out their Instagram links, which I'll post in the description below. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.